Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you notify every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, I always tell y'all time after time that it's never a good look whenever former friends get into it with each other and start spewing out each other's business. It's never a good look on either side because for one, one of the person's deepest secrets or whatever confidential information gets put out there and for two, the person that's exposing that information is proving that they have no loyalty and can't keep their mouth closed, showing that they are untrustworthy of information told to them by any of their peers. Let's say that if you're somebody's friend but you see they expose someone else's business once they fall out, you're going to naturally feel like you can't tell that person anything based off what you just seen them do to someone else that they once called their friend. Because if all it takes for you to tell my business is for you to get mad at me for whatever reason that you chose to be mad and the next thing you know we fall out and you telling the world something I felt comfortable telling you and nobody else, then why would I sit here and chance that and do it to myself? Now you got some people that feel, well, if they no longer friends, it don't matter, right? If she's telling her business because they don't mess with each other anyway. Matter of fact, y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel about something like that. Is it okay for someone to tell the next person's business just because they aren't cool anymore? Or should they still keep it confidential? Me personally, I wouldn't do that whether we still friends or not. You know, to me it's corny, um, even if we ain't cool anymore. I've had friends that whether we spoke or not, I'll still never tell their business because why, right? That's just not in me. But like I said, some people think differently. So I would like to know y'all opinion in the comments on whether it's okay to tell people business because y'all fell out or not. Now today, one of Ice Spice's former friends that goes by the name Baby Storm on social media is exposing Ice Spice for being fat phobic, a colorist, and for cheating on her producer who was also her ex-boyfriend with little TJ. Now keep in mind this is all alleged um, and like I said it's crazy because I never knew that she was messing with the producer that did her beats. Everyone knows the stop playing with them riot and it's funny because I always thought that she said Ryan but turns out she's saying riot. But anyway those type of relationships that conflict with business usually never last long because it's one or the other that usually falls apart. Either the relationship falls apart and the business remains or the relationship remains and the business falls apart. It's always something, it's just one big conflict of interest when you're trying to mix business with pleasure or personal, whatever. But anyway, Baby Storm had went on a rant via Twitter, exposing Ice Spice, and also claims that she knows a lot more about Ice Spice than she haven't revealed yet. And she's pretty much saying that Ice Spice is acting like something she's not. Now she definitely came with receipts including screenshots of text messages, a picture with Ice Spice and stated that she knew Ice Spice since she was 13 years old. Um, I guess when it comes to these things she's saying about Ice Spice, to be honest, I'm sketchy about it for a few reasons. I'm not saying she's lying and I'm not saying that she didn't make a few points. But when you go on her page and see some of the things that she posts about, then you kind of see what she claims she's advocating against. Clearly it's contradicted, right? I say that because in one post she speaks about women being used in the industry as puppets to promote sex and prostitution, but then she has a picture on her page of herself showing her chest and having, you know, quite revealing clothes on. So it's kind of contradicting upon other things that I've seen on her page as well. And some of the things she's accusing Ice Spice of saying or doing, my only question is, if Ice Spice is such a colorist allegedly and speaks malice on certain topics and people and things, then why does she feel so comfortable telling you, right? It's like when someone tells you that such and such was talking about you to them and in your head, you start asking yourself, why did they feel so comfortable telling you that? 
because you don't just go to anybody and say certain things. Obviously, the person has to feel comfortable with you, and obviously, it was something you said or did that let them know it's okay to tell you things like that. So once again, why does she feel so comfortable telling you? Now, when it comes to the colorist stuff, I can't sit here and say it's 100% true because we don't know. But what I do know is even social media have showed us on plenty of occasions where you have girls that have lighter skin making little shady jokes and comments about darker skin females. It just is what it is. I've seen women do it in real life. I've seen it on social media numerous of times. So yes, it is a thing. And to make matters worse, is that you even have brown skinned women that will sit there and make fun of other darker skinned women as well. Which is crazy, but once again, it all leads back to why did she feel so comfortable telling you? And are you really exposing this now because you care? Or are you only doing it because you are mad or just trying to get some type of attention? Because why didn't she expose it when it first occurred, right? But anyway, there's a few tweets that I want to go over what Baby Storm had to say in regards to exposing Ice Spice. There's a few screenshots in there as well. So we're going to get into all that. But before we do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button so we can get this video into the algorithm. And if you aren't subscribed to the platform already, make sure you do so now. Let's get into it. Baby Storm will start everything off with a tweet by saying, quote, I've been quiet for too long. I will finally speak my truth. Then if y'all remember when Ice Spice tweeted and told the world she was Nigerian, well, Storm would repost a video of Cleopatra, who was another friend of Ice Spice's, doing an interview, and in that interview, she says that she didn't even know Ice Spice was Nigerian. She also states that it was the friend that was Nigerian, in which I'm assuming she was referring to Baby Storm. I was kind of confused too when she tweeted that. I'm like, she, she tell me? She's up. She told me her best friend was. I remember when I was talking about me being Nigerian. She was like, yeah, my best friend's Nigerian. Now, Baby Storm would caption the video she posted, and she would say, quote, This is Cleo, the girl she chose to be her best friend to the public, when in reality, it was me behind the scenes. Cleo and her are not really best friends. Isis has always hated Cleo, but she used her so she could appear closer to blackness. She also lied about being Nigerian. She stole that from me. So Baby Storm is alleging that Ice Spice stole a Nigerian origin from her and basically saying that Ice Spice just lied for the reason of appearing to be closer to black, right? And I'm sure that Ice Spice probably did try and have another reason for people to gravitate to her and that was just her way of trying to get in with the culture. Now, I do remember Ice Spice tweeting saying that she was Nigerian or either tweeting or said it during the interview. So she lied for whatever reason, but Baby Storm is alleging that she tried to appeal, I guess, to a crowd, and that's why she said that she was Nigerian. Now, Baby Storm would take to another tweet after someone asked her why she remained friends with Ice Spice if she felt the way she do about her. And she would respond saying, quote, because unfortunately, I thought she was a real friend. I've known her since we were 13. We went to the same grade school and high school, Sacred Heart in Yonkers, New York. We met in eighth grade. She was my high school bully. I forgave her after high school because she apologized for bullying me. She only tried to rekindle with me when I started doing music and got some motion. She used my connections and resources to make her way to the top, pretended to be my friend. She forced everyone in her life to sign an NDA, including me. But the only person I'm signed to is God. So I will speak the truth. So Baby Storm is also alleging that Ice Spice stole her connections and states that she used her to get where she is. Now after that, she also posted screenshots of her addressing Ice Spice about a situation with another friend and it's way too much to read, so I'll just post it so y'all can pause it and read it for yourself. Check this out. Then she would tweet out that she was afraid of Ice Spice, which is kind of unbelievable, but she would say, quote, and the sad part is I was too scared to put her in her place. Now, why she would be scared of Ice Spice? <laughs> I don't know, but she did say that um, Ice Spice used to bully her, right? Now, here's where the colorist claims will come from, allegedly, after she accused Ice Spice of making fun of darker skinned women. She posted a screenshot of their text messages, and I'm going to read it for y'all. The blue is Baby Storm and the other text is Ice Spice allegedly. Ice Spice would text first saying quote, but then she'll be like, I'm dark skin, so I always have to work harder than everyone. 
and she put the emoji like she tied with the you know the weapon pretty much saying like shoot me now you know like when somebody's tired she said some girl on twitter stooped so low so i went to hell her second to last this is actually true but only partially i hate the song like actually i didn't like it when i first heard it either i think it's annoying but the team did a lot to push it now clearly they talking about another artist i don't know who they talking about at first i thought scarlet but then it could be lola brooke it could be a mixture of a couple um other female artists that's out there so i don't want to really say that it was intended for this one or that one we don't really know but baby storm would include more screenshots showing that ice spice is allegedly a colorist and she would tweet first saying quote she is also fat phobic and many other things and by the way i'm only telling you guys about one percent of it believe it or not this is nothing p shea butter community she is referring to dark skin now in the screenshot she's the blue and ice spice is allegedly the other one the screenshot will read, quote, laughing my butt off, like I wish I could fight that Y B word. I usually don't respond to people, but how you gonna make a whole graph and on top of that mention Down syndrome? Like B word, I hope all them kids you have be born with Down syndrome, the F. Acting like they know you in real life, which is human and everybody has their breaking point. For real, but people think they can play with me all day. That's why I'd rather be like a doja. I'll happily tell everyone to go to hell. I don't care. The Shea Butter Twitter community praying on my downfall. Same, and I'll go with them. Now, once again, if you look at that text message, it seems like Ice Spice, if that is her, she's very comfortable with saying what she said to this, you know, other girl. And if she wasn't so comfortable, she wouldn't have said it so easily the way she did. So clearly that isn't the first time she did it. And I guess Baby Storm gives her the vibes like she can. Maybe Baby Storm said something in the past too, who knows? But she did seem a little, you know, unbothered by saying it and seemed comfortable. So at the end of the day, why does she feel so comfortable saying what she's saying to you in your dark skin? So, you know, it has to be a reason, right? Now, next she would expose Ice Spice for allegedly cheating on her producer EJ, AKA Riot with Lil TJ. She also had a screenshot where she showed her contacting Riot to tell him but first, she would tweet, quote, EJ, Riot is her producer and boyfriend since 2019. He was a real mastermind behind her career and the only one who pushed her to rap. She cheated on him with TJ and then rapped about it on their song together. If you don't believe me, just go back and read the lyrics to Gangsta Boo. But this time, read carefully. They were talking about him. She knows no loyalty, not even to the only person who has always been there for her, Riot. Then in the screenshot where she's the blue, she would say, quote, Ice is cheating on you with TJ in 2022 and lied to your face about it. Then she had the audacity to sing about it on Gangsta Boo, the song you produced. Ask her about it. She was in love with him for almost a year. I'm sorry. It happened the night she slept in TJ's bed while you were in the house. Now, <laughs> of course, this is all accusations right now and allegations. We don't know how true it is, but we do know that them friends, them besties, when it comes to women, they know everything. So I'm not saying she did, I'm not saying she didn't. But like I said, when it comes to women and their female besties and they all friends, they know each other's business. So if she did in fact <laughs> sleep with TJ behind Riot's back and talk about it on a song that he produced, that's crazy. That's a whole nother level of just diabolical. You see what I'm saying? I never even heard of something like that, but it is possible. And like I said, I can't say she did or she didn't, but that would be crazy. Now, Baby Storm will also go on to accuse Ice Spice of allegedly making sure her career didn't take off as she would tweet, quote, Ice did everything in her power to make sure my career would never take off. She did everything you could possibly think of and more, but I'm not afraid of her anymore. This is the truth. Now we know that Ice Spice and Lotto, they had, you know, they little secret tension between each other. I'm not even so much a secret, but they had a little tension between each other. I can't even call it a beef. I guess just controversy where Lotto, she went to the Bronx. She rolled through the Bronx, you know, a whole big show, whatever the case may be. Baby Storm took the time to address the Lotto beef between Ice Spice. Um, and she would tweet mentioning Lotto as she would say, quote, by the way, guys, don't worry about the hate I'm getting because the only people hating me are the Bobs, who I don't give a flying F about. Nicki Minaj is also evil, and the Bobs hating don't even know that Ice has only used her for a feature. That's why she attacked Lotto too, 
Lotto has always been her biggest nightmare in competition. She was jealous of her for years because Lotto was who Isis was pretending to be. She purposely used Nikki so she could get a feature and surpass Lotto. And she used Nikki and the Barb to do so. But keep defending her, Barbs. Then in another tweet, she said, quote, Lotto rose to fame because of her talent and talent only. Isis rose to fame because she sold her soul. She knew she would never have a fraction of the amount of talent Lotto has, so she attacked her on purpose to get a Nikki feature so the Barb's would turn on Lotto. It hurt her career because Lotto is a rapper and they have the same fan base. But I'm not a rapper so the Barb's can't touch my career. Now she started talking about Palestine and saying that Ice Spice don't know a thing about Palestine or anything going on. Uh, I guess she had to tell her about it but for the sake of the video and the guidelines I wouldn't include that. However that's pretty much it man. To be honest after seeing the screenshots and stuff I learned that Ice Spice actually seemed like she was trying to help her out. Right? Um, it honestly seemed like Ice Spice took her as a friend, but it looks like Baby Storm had her own dislike for Ice Spice for whatever reasons, right? Could it be that she blew up and Storm is a rapper as well and she didn't blow? Could it be that maybe Storm is jealous? Maybe she's mad that Ice Spice isn't talking about Palestine? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm still lost at why she chose to expose her. Um, I think it has something to do with Ice Spice messing with a mutual friend that Baby Storm didn't get along with or I don't know. You know, but that's pretty much it, man. Y'all jump in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Do y'all think that Ice Spice is allegedly a colorist, according to what Baby Storm is saying? And um, let me know how y'all feel about everything in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. But remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.